It's dawn at the beginning of the opening week of the London 2012 Olympics. They've been labelled the Austerity Olympics, but in central London, there's little sign of that. Today's challenge is a record-breaking one, to bring in the largest ship ever to come into West India docks in its 200-year history. The 22,400-ton Deutschland is guided up the Thames by two Port of London Authority pilots, but her 574-foot length, as long as 20 London buses, must be swung around mid-river outside the docks. She can only enter backwards. Then comes the real test, squeezing this vast cruise ship into the lock. There are only a few inches of space on either side. Everyone holds their breath as she inches into the lock. One Port of London Authority pilot keeping watch at the stern with his colleague masterminding the most intricate reverse parking challenge from the bridge. Once Deutschland is safely in the lock, the Port of London Authority pilots can leave. She is big, she's certainly a challenge for this lock. She's the maximum size we'll ever get in here. Uh, you had about a, a metre spare, half a metre either side, a couple of metres either end. She had to go stern first in order to shut the outside gates, but it was certainly a challenge, but we have perfect conditions. The wind was light, it was daylight when we got here, two good tugs, bow thruster, yeah, it was, it was a challenge, but it was enjoyable. Now under the control of the Pinal and River Trust, which owns the West Indian dock, the ship makes her final journey from the lock to moor at her berth, her new home for the duration of the Olympics. Well, I think this is probably the busiest West India dock has been since it ceased to be a sort of commercial port. Um, the Olympics has presented a really a unique opportunity for us. We're here today with the buildings of Canary Wharf behind here, but the really great thing is that the dock is still used in the same way that we've maintained the lock gates, the bridges, all the equipment that we've got here, and we're still able to handle large vessels. This is just one of many ships and yachts the Port of London Authority and the Canal and River Trust are shepherding into London. Just around the corner, the sailing ship Stadt Amsterdam is moored. The huge variety and number of ships visiting London is keeping the Port Authority very busy, on top of its day job overseeing Britain's second biggest port. While the normal work of the Port of London Authority continues, it's also launched its well-publicised gatekeeper patrols at Gravesend and Richmond. All recreational boats are checked to see if they're travelling through and out of the city or have pre-booked a berth in central London. Have you got one of these passes? The aim is to prevent congestion in the Olympic host port during one of its busiest times. If um, boats turn up and they haven't got a pass and they haven't got any uh, planned moorings, then they'll have to make alternative arrangements away from the Thames, unfortunately. Um, sometimes we can accommodate vessels, but generally uh, they will have to make alternative arrangements, unfortunately. The patrols are out on the water every day. Thank you very much. Most sailors are fully prepared. So you need one of these ones, which is a permanent board. But some are caught out. Often it's just a case of not being aware. As the London 2012 Olympics opens, the Port of London Authority will continue to be a presence on the water, always with the aim of ensuring everyone is safe.